Hey, hello investors and future investors. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and on this channel, I show you how I use my portfolio in order to generate weekly income. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you two option strategies that can be used if you're a beginner options trader. And, and these two strategies can both help you grow your portfolio to an amount that you desire. Welcome to Investment Gains. Let's jump right into it. Welcome back investors and I'm happy you guys have decided to join me one more time for another video. In this video, we're going to focus on growing a small options portfolio consistently over time using two option strategies only that's able to benefit anyone trading for a very small account. You guys know how we do on this channel. The one way to learn option is to get down and dirty with options, meaning you have to absolutely keep practicing your options and your option strategies. That being said, on this channel, we're going to give you a complete walkthrough in order for you to not only know how these strategies are done, but this also allows you to follow through step by step. And if needs be, feel free to rerun this video as much as you can in order for you to grasp these strategies. And if you do have any questions or comments about these strategies, feel free to leave it in the comments below. So let's get right into it. So for today's video, we're going to be using none other than the QQQ. There's a couple of reasons why I decided to use QQQ for this video, and we're going to see that as we go along. So as we get started, we're going to go straight into it with trading QQQ options, which is always located to your bottom right. Okay, so once we hit the trade QQQ option, that's going to open up what's known as your option chain. Now, the option chain allows you to make a very informed decision. It gives you information necessary in order for you to choose strike prices, strike dates, and also determine what the share price is at currently. So for this option strategy, first of all, we're going to go ahead to sell and we're going to go ahead to put. Now we're going to go ahead and choose our strike date. Now for this video, I'm going to choose a strike date of September 20th. Now, one of the reasons I'm using QQQ because it has strike dates every single day. So this allows you to trade multiple times per week, which allows you to grow your portfolio even faster. So we're going to use September 20th, and now we're going to go ahead and start our first option strategy, which is going to allow you to grow a small account. Now for this option strategy, we're going to go ahead by starting to choose our first leg below the current share price. And as you can see here, the share price is trading around 482. So we're going to go ahead below that. And one of the determining factors for me in which helps me to choose my strike price is that I also look for what's known as a chance of profitability. So the chance of profitability I love looking for based on my experience and personal preferences is always an 80% chance of profitability or higher when doing this particular option strategy. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to scroll down and see if we have any chance of profitability that's even close to that. So here I already see I have a good chance of profitability here at 80% chance and that gives me the strike price of 465. Now with the 465 strike price and also an 80% chance of profitability, once I go ahead and I click into the price right here, that tells me that I'm going to receive 0.125 or in option terms, that's going to be $125. Now that $125 is going to be a credit towards me because we're selling a put. Once you sell something, you receive something in return. So that is leg one of this option strategy. So now we're going to go ahead. Now we're going to switch over to buy and put, and we're going to continue to use the exact same strike date. You must use the exact same strike date in order for this strategy to work. Now that we have buy and put and the exact same strike date, we're going to proceed to choose a strike price below the current sell put. So first we had a sell put. Now we're going to have a buy put. Now the buy put I'm going to look for, I'm going to choose the 464. Now with the 464 buy put, once I click into that, now I'm going to have to pay $1.12. Now, $1.12 was going to equal to $112. Each option contract is multiplied by 100 shares. Now, there you go. This option strategy is none other than the put credit spread. Now, I'm going to explain to you the pros and cons of this option strategy before we get into the second option strategy to help you grow your account. And also, I'm going to show you the ease of entry into this option strategy if you're trading with a small account. But right before we get into that, if you guys are getting any value from the video so far, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell to get an alert when I post a video. 
So let's continue. So like I said, this is known as a put credit spread. Now the reason why a put credit spread is an obsolete exit strategy in order for someone with a small account or a beginner trader is the ease of entry and the cost of entry. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit continue. I'm gonna show you why. Let's go ahead. We're gonna choose just one contract for this video. And we're gonna hit review. So as you can see here with the put credit spread, once I do this, I will have to leave a collateral. However, the collateral is a bare minimal. And in this case, it's just $100. So that's one reason that makes this perfect for someone trading with a small account. All you're risking is just $100 if you don't have a big account like $5,000 or $25,000 portfolio. So in order for you to scale this, if you're thinking $17 is not enough for you, then it's simple. You go up to your contracts and you just increase the amount of the contracts you have. So once you do this first option strategy known as the put credit spread, you will be receiving $17 credit into your buying power. Now, here's the good part. That $17 is yours to keep no matter how this trade goes. So that being said, there is, however, two ways in which this trade could go. So the first way this trade could go is that from expiration date of September 20th, if QQQ is trading at any price above 465, then once again, you keep your $17 credit which you receive. Remember, that never gets taken away from you. And then now you get your hundred dollars of collateral released back to you. What do you do now? Then you do this trade again for the following day or the following week based on your risk tolerance and your own preferences. Now, the other way in which this trade could go, however, is that once again, come um, September 20th, if QQQ is trading below $464, then like I just mentioned, you keep your $17. That's yours to keep no matter how the trade goes. However, now you lose part of your collateral. So the collateral you're gonna lose is gonna be your $100 minus the premium received of $17. So you're gonna stand to lose about $83. Now, if you're trading with a small account and you use $83, that's not such a bad thing. This is gonna allow you to not blow up your account as opposed to risking it all. So this is one reason why put credit spreads is an excellent beginner trading strategy in order to get you started. So before we go into the second beginner trading option strategy, if you guys resonate with the put credit spread and you guys could use this in order to help grow your portfolio or you have any questions concerning this particular option strategy, feel free to leave me a comment below. Now, the other beginner trading strategy that can be used if you're trading with another account is quite similar to this and it too is also two leg option strategy. So let's go ahead and we're gonna play out of these now in order to get started with our second beginner trading option strategy. Now for this one, we're gonna go ahead and make sure it says sell on call. And now we're gonna go ahead, let's just use a different strike date. Let's use September 23rd. Now in this instance, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose our strike price above the current share price. Now once again, the current share price is around 482. And I'm going to be looking for a chance of profitability of 80% or higher, which is once again, my personal preference. Feel free to do your own due diligence and come up with your own criteria before getting into any trade. So with the 89% chance of profitability here, which is extremely high, but I will go with it. I'm going to be using the 484 strike price. Now the 484 strike price and an 89% chance of profitability, that's going to pay me 0.59 or $59. Now, like I said previous, once you sell in something, which this is a sell call, you're going to receive money. The money you're going to be receiving is going to be $59, which is 0.59 multiplied by 100 shares. Now, the first leg of this option strategy is none other than I would call option strategy. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and choose our second leg. Now for the second leg, you simply jump over to buy and call and using the exact same strike date. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose our next strike price above our previous sell call. So remember, we just did a sell call. Now we're doing a buy call. So the buy call, we're gonna choose above the sell call. And I will be going with the 485 buy call. And I'm gonna click into that. And now I'm gonna to have to pay 0.5 or $50 in order to get into this trade. Now, as you can see to the top here, this beginner trading strategy is none other than the call 
credit spread. So once again, the reason I chose the call credit spread as a beginner option strategy is once again, the ease of getting into the strategy and the low cost to get into the strategy. So let's go ahead and explain the strategy. So we're going to go ahead once again, we're going to hit continue. We're going to choose the amount of contracts. Let's just go with two this time. So with two contracts of this call credit spread, I will be receiving $23.88. Let's round it off to $24 into my buying power right away. Now, this $24 is mine to keep no matter how this trade goes. In order for me to do call credit spread, I will need to leave a collateral. That collateral is going to be $200. So because it's only $200, this makes it perfect for a beginner trading option strategy and also for someone trading with a small account portfolio. So how does this trade work out? Well, I'm happy you asked. So come expiration date of September 23rd, if QQQ is trading any price below your 434 strike price, then you get to keep your $24 and then your $200 gets released. That goes back to you. And then you could keep doing this strategy until probably you get tired of doing this strategy. Now, the other way this strategy could go is that come once again, September 23rd, if QQQ is now trading at 485 or above, then guess what? You keep your $24. That's your skip, no matter how the trade goes. But then now you lose part of your collateral. The part of your collateral that's going to be lost is going to be your $200 minus your premium received. In this case, it's going to be about $176. So although all credit spread is a good option, beginner strategy, always be careful with it. Try your best to not go into too numerous contracts and over leverage your portfolio. Now, if you have any questions concerning the call credit spread, or you want to know more about this particular strategy, just leave me a comment below, say call credit spread, and I'll be happy to reach out to you. So there you have it. Those are two beginner trading strategies that can be used in order to grow your portfolio consistently over time. The trick to this is to make sure you use a high chance of profitability in order to reduce your chance of being assigned. The other thing is, please try to keep your amount of contract at the minimal. Do not over leverage yourself. Once you're able to master these strategies and you become consistent over time, I have no doubt that your portfolio will grow and you will see the results. Okay, so thanks for watching. And before you go, there should be two videos appearing on your screen right now. Feel free to click any one of these two, which is going to help you be part of the income team and help continue your knowledge on options trading. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, share this video with anyone you think that can benefit from its content. And until the next video, investors, Keep pushing your investments.